talk a little more about South Carolina. Mm. Wes, let's talk about Tropical Storm Danny. Not really a whole lot to worry about here. Yeah, Danny and the shark can uh, stay away. <laughs> and listen, just like that, we have checked off, crossed off the list. Storm number four this season. So remember, progression of the day. It started as a tropical wave, became a depression, strengthened to a storm, moved inland, and is now a depression again, crossing from South Carolina into Georgia. It's always been a disorganized, lopsided system. I mean, most of the rain is on the west side. There's hardly anything on the east side. It is well south of us. And tonight, it has 35 mile per hour winds moving west northwest at 15, should dissipate altogether by tomorrow. And then it's a distant memory. And we turn our attention to the holiday. It's right around the corner. Here's what we can expect for this week in the weather world. Our warmest day will be Thursday when we hit 92, although every other day is pretty much going to be 90 or 91, so it's not a drastic jump in temperatures. Our coolest morning will be Saturday at 69, but then again, every other morning is going to be about 70 or 71. Here's the big story of the week. A cold front will come all the way through, cool us down, but as it does on Friday, it will give us our best chance of rain. That's the second day of July. It's a 70% chance. Tomorrow, it's nowhere near that. What you felt and saw today, pretty much the same thing tomorrow. That means as we go hour by hour, we'll start off around 70. We jump up to 85 by lunchtime on our way to a high of 90. Heat index, maybe 93 or 94. Hot, but doable. Rain chances stay very small, 10 or 20% in the mid to late afternoon. And remember, we're living through some of our longest days of the year right now. This is the second full week of summer. And this super sunset, we're going west to Vallejo, California. Helen, who lives here in central North Carolina most of the year, was out visiting a couple months ago. Great shot, beautiful hills, got some wheat there in the foreground. I'll stick this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page as soon as the news is over. And as always, love to get your pictures. Just drop me an email if you capture one. Send it at CBS17.com. All right, let's revisit what's going on with this system. Again, tropical depression, Danny, now. Moving into parts of Georgia, just north of Savannah, it'll dissipate completely tomorrow morning. 35 mile per hour winds. And then the impacts of this system, all storms are different, and this one is no different in that aspect. Here's what Futurecast has it doing tomorrow morning. There will be a few scattered showers in South Carolina, maybe in the western part of the state, but related to this system, Danny, really nothing for us. Just some good old-fashioned pop-up showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Most of the day is dry. That's your Tuesday forecast. Wednesday, more of the same. The morning time will be dry. We get into the afternoon. We're up to 90 and a few specks of green showing up. So enjoy these next few days that will be hot and mostly dry because that will not be the case later this week. And if you're wondering what's next on the list, we've zoomed through ABCD already. Up next for all you Disney conspiracy theorists, Elsa. Remember, we started the year with Anna. We have Elsa next up on the list. We also have a lot more humidity coming. Our dew point temperature, which was around 70 today, that is not changing until that cold front. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, each day will be in the low 90s. Rain chances go way up on Friday with the cold front. Good rain chances remain on Saturday, but the 4th of July weekend, Angela, mid to low 80s. It's been a long time since we've had a 4th of July that cool and comfortable. Cold fronts in July, though, are a little squirrely, mm. so we'll watch this one very eagerly to actually see if those cool temperatures make it here. I'm still concerned about Elsa. I mean, that's Elsa, a, she's, she was the strong she, sister. Right, she was a little, a little ornery. A little worried.